sallallahu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. We express our condolences on the arrival of the month of Muharram and the martyrdom anniversary of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. This is Real Points. I'm Ata, the host of this program, and with me in the studio are two guest speakers, two religious experts from the Islamic Hausa of Qom, uh, Brother Ali Al Avian and Sayyid Muhsin Nakhwi. Of course, we know that Imam al-Hussein at that time, his movement did not have many companions around himself. But the main question is that, uh, was it only limited to divine causes or no, some sociocultural aspects were also highlighted in the minds of Imam al-Hussein al at that time? I want to say that this question by itself has a problem because for uh, Imam Hussein al whatever is, is divine and even whatever comes after that is based on the first uh, part that was built earlier. So first, it was divine, because as I define that whatever a believer does is for the sake of God. So it was divine, no doubt. So basically, in the Shia school of thought, when we say the word uh, imamat or imam, it is always related to divine, because this status is not being made by people. It's not the people who choose someone to be the imam. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who orders us like, to follow this person, and he is the Imam of the time. Imam Hussain al when he went towards the Kufa, towards Karbala, it shows us that obviously he has to answer these people. And if he did not answer these people, or if he did not travel to that place, mm -hmm. Tomorrow on the Day of Judgment, these people could stand against Imam and say, Oh Allah, you cannot punish us. We followed this, this, because your authority did not came to us. We okay. called it. It was a duty that he felt. Okay. So after that, yes, even the people's will was looked at okay. and was seen. Because uh, more than 120,000 letters and requests was received from people of Kufa. 